Hi guys, it's Kobe here and in this video we are going to talk about the Jiggle Deformer. So just like any other deformer, you come to create deformer and you can find our Jiggle Deformer in here. You can also find it in the deformer menu in here as well. So what the Jiggle Deformer does is it basically adds secondary motion to your animations. So I'll use a basic primitive. Let me use just a cylinder as an example. And I'll actually set a basic keyframe. So I'll probably I'll move it up and I'll set a keyframe. Then I'll bring it um, at frame 15. I'll bring it back down. Now set a keyframe. So if I should play, this is just a basic animation I've done. But if I add the jiggle deformer to it, now let's play and see what happens. See, it gives it a secondary motion now begins to bounce give it that bouncy feel so it basically give it that jiggly i don't know for it to sound a bit um understanding so it give it that jiggly feel to it so basically that's what it does not just position so it can actually be rotation as well so it can actually come in here and clear the keyframe animation that i have in here and now let me do rotation so i'll um, disable the jiggle deformer and I'll set a keyframe on the banking in here. I'll come to frame 10 and I'll rotate it um, 180 and set another keyframe. And let's play and see what we have the same way. Something simple. But if I should enable the jiggle deformer and play, see, it gives us that secondary bounce. And it's basically using, I think, the points. Of the animation of the object that's what it helping it give it so it applies to any anim uh, any secondary animation that you have it could be deformers it could be the skill anything so for deforming as, as well like I can actually come let me uncheck this one and let me add um, the bend deformer and make it a child of the cylinder but this is important the arrangement because this jiggle deformer applies the animation it, it sort of calculates your animation and now apply its um, effect so it's very important that it always be the last in your hierarchy if you want it to affect like all your um, deformers or all the objects but maybe for instance if you don't want it to affect the bend you probably might let it be on top of the bend but in this case i want it to affect the bend so i'll select the bend come to objects and say fit to objects so that like you get the animation so now i can set a keyframe from here let me actually move it a bit i think i should give it a bit of segments yeah so and now uncheck the jiggle deformer this is important because the jiggle deformer calculates the animation and add its effect sometimes when you have it on and you're now trying to move things it doesn't move because because of the jiggle deformer it's sort of still trying to calculate it so it's always if you are doing animation on check it before when you're about to play it now you check it back so i'll uncheck it and now i'll set a keyframe bring it back to frame 10 and now I'll probably bring it back here again now I'll set a keyframe and now let's see what we have so basic simple deform animation but let's quickly enable the jiggle deformer and see what we get play and now it gives it some sort of bouncy thing what we can actually do is maybe we don't want it to affect it down so i can come to the for um select the jiggle deformer come to fall off now i use maybe the linear field i'll change its um orientation or direction and i'll move it up for us to See what's going on move it up here and hope to have that but see so it's affecting only the top it's very interesting so you can do several things with it now after you've applied your jiggle deformer because it always applies secondary animation if you scrub through sometimes you don't get a proper motion of your animation so you can select the jiggle deformer and now come to cache and now hit calculate so when you hit calculate now it, it plays back smoothly and this cache is very very important it's very very important and can be very useful in some situations when you have several deformation movement and animation and stuff 
when you scrub through your timeline, it really the jiggle the format sort of messes it up sometimes. So it's best it's when you cache it so that when you scrub through, it makes it play smoothly and you can see the kind of animation you get in real time. Also, another interesting way of using the jiggle the format. So I'll delete the bendy format for now. We don't need it. And you see, it's still keeping it. I've deleted the bendy format, but it's still keeping it. And that's because of the jiggle. If I should disable it, you see, it goes back to its position. Now, another thing that let me delete the linear field as well. Another thing we can use the field uh, jiggle the format to do is we can actually use um, forces to affect our object through the jiggle the format. So, for instance, I can actually come um, to simulate, right? And I can use <clears throat> the forces in here, some of them, to actually affect my object, which is very interesting in some cases. So, let me use turbulence. And so, I add turbulence. I'll make sure I select the jiggle deform. And you can see in the tabs here, we have forces. So now I can actually drag and drop the turbulence in here. And then I enable my jiggle deformer. It's still trying to calculate the old. Um, so I play, move it back. Oh, yeah. So one thing is actually it's still keeping the cache that we did. So remember we cached the bend deformer. Remember, so it's still having that cache. So you have to select the cache and empty cache. Right. And now it should work here yeah. so now it doesn't have it again so what I was, i'm going to do is, so now with the jiggle deformer selected i come to forces and i drag the turbulence which is the force like i applied in my scene i drag it in here and now enable the force if i hit play you can see it's but you won't see much so let me actually add it. i think there's enough details with the cylinder so i'll now come to the turbulence and increase the strength so maybe let me add it like 100 for us for it to be very visible and let me play you see what's happening see that now that the forces which is typically they typically affect particles or dynamics is now affecting our regular object through the jiggle deformer so it's really interesting you can actually use it so maybe increase the scale to 10. I mean, you can use other stuff to affect it. This just to show you it can actually work. So you can see the jiggle deformer is actually making the forces affect our regular object. So the jiggle deformer is really powerful tool you can use. You can play around with other forces as well. In here, now you can set restrictions. So you probably can set um, restrictions where the jiggle deformer and stuff should affect. And you have your other controls so now you can control the stiffness of the jig like the object the it's applying as in the stiffness of the jiggleness you know how bouncy it is you can control it the drag also sort of um basically add friction in the movement so it sort of slows it down it doesn't make it move like quick and all that i mean you can play around with this see what you can come up with so one of my favorite deformers it's the geo deformer and it's a lot that you can do with it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one